The title of our research is Cytoprotective Effect of Gudaraldehyde Erythropoietin on Hex2 nitrate cell after exposure to zero nanoparticle. Zero nanoparticles are one of the most widely used nanoparticles in biomedical and industrial fields because of their antimicrobial properties. We can find many products containing zero nanoparticles as an antimicrobial agent, detergent, cosmetic, food containers, clothing, and even shield and toys because of the more exposure to zero nanoparticle in people's daily life, the safety concerns and the toxicity potentials of zero nanoparticles become a hot topic for biomedical research. Up to now, the zero nanoparticles toxicity to human cells is extensively characterized, but methods to prevent the toxic effects remain unknown. This research aims to develop a new strategy to prevent the toxicity of zero nanoparticles. We focus on our recently synthesized cytoprotective compound, gudaraldehyde erythropoietin, a derivative of the mammalian erythropoietin hormone. This gudaraldehyde erythropoietin or GEPO has been shown the benefits in protection of various cells and tissues against acute and chronic injuries without the effect of increase of the red blood cells in systemic circulation. In this model, GEPO was found to reduce cellular cytotoxicity from zero nanoparticles via ROS dependent signal and get involved in anti-apoptosis BCL2 protein in kidney cell line. This finding sheds light on the prevention of nanomaterial toxicity. The GEPO is an alternative protective compound for prevention of nano sewer induced cell injury. This present study provides basic steps for understanding the preventive mechanism of the kidney cytotoxicity from sewer nanoparticles.